the Mongols. Begins today. A magical film needs to be believed. Oops. Obviously, you've got something that you've never seen before. How do you uh, make that real? With the Foley, we were using it to ground the characters, to ground the, the world we're in, to ground the creatures that are in this film. I think uh, a great experience for the audience will be the manticore scene. They're like these crab-like creatures. We went down to the fish market and bought lobsters and crabs and... Some seafood. See, loads of seafood. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, had, we got loads and loads of, like, basic samples. So we're able to record sounds and adding detail every time. The CGI starts off at a very basic level, so every time the image changes, we're re-recording stuff with our team, and it allows us to uh, have a look at it from a different perspective, so we can add layers every time. Like all the creatures uh, that you make, you have to you, you work very hard to give them a character, not just a sound. We're going to need some help during the course of a film that they have to go through the emotions that a human would go through or a wizard would go through. And that's what it really, we really talk about is trying to get those new creatures to have this personality for all the different situations so that when they're in, they're, they're really grounded in, in, in the scene. When you achieve that, which I think we have done, it's great because you can feel every moment of what's happening to them. Dolby Atmos is an amazing tool to unlock any emotion in this film. It allows us to use scale, to use fear, uh, any feeling that we need to um, accentuate. Because films like this are very dynamic. So also what which has been through a lot of the films is the phoenix. And that actually the phoenix in this film has a special meaning and has a very soulful sound and a beauty to it as well. Playing with that the phoenix within say when the score would come in and the, and the sound of the phoenix or how big the wings were and, and sometimes they've got embers with them it was very delicate to the scenes that it was used in with dolby atmos it allows us to do huge great scenes and to really immerse ourselves in this magical world but also it allows us to bring out the tiniest of details you hear the music from harry potter you see the um Hogwarts. it's a big big shot and it's dynamic and I think the big fans, I think they will love it. I trust you're enjoying your wand, Mr. Kowalski.